I shallow one double honest to the apostles of GMS and honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Alright, for four corners of the earth. And uh this is gonna be a slightly more thorough uh video as to what's happening out there within within Russia. You know, I like to keep up on what's going on out there. Alright. And um pretty much things are escalating, okay. We'll get into a few articles showing you how the you know how 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 the elites are using America, right, to set this thing whole that to set this whole thing up, man, to set it up to where these countries are going to go to war against each other, all right, all right. But first and foremost, I want to touch on this article. See what you're going to see from these new you know these news accounts. I'm going to show you in a second here, right. Those are a couple of days old, but this this is an account, um. Illustrated on Forbes uh, that came out uh, about you know it came out in 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 2004 so last year. All right, but what he explains is about a TV program, right on ABC Television Network. All right, that was casted that was um, you know that was uh, filmed and broadcasted in 1983. Okay, and what you want to bear in mind is Esau, right? The so-called white man usually puts his He's um what he wants to do in the future. He puts it out there in his movies. Okay, so it says four ways the Ukraine crisis could escalate to use to to use of nuclear weapons. Okay, see now nuclear weapons ain't ain't like um ain't like guns, man. You ain't gonna shoot one person tomorrow, and you'll be using guns again. To, 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 well, you ain't gonna shoot someone, and they're gonna drop dead today. You're gonna be able to use them. Right in the future, what's going to happen uh, as uh, and as it's been portrayed in many um, many films, right? We, we, and, you know, a good film of uh, to see that in is um, I know it's a bit of a crappy film, but that film GI Joe with um, with the Rock in it. Okay, that shows you. Um, I think he's got the Rock in it. I'm not sure. I know it's got one of the Wayne's brothers in there, certainly. But you watch that film, man. Right, one of the objectives was to get rid of all the nuclear arsenals, the nuclear arsenal upon the world. But see, once one person releases a nuke, all of them countries release their nukes, and that's what's going to happen in um in in the near future to come. So it says in 1983, an ABC television network broadcast a film called The Day After. Right, and what what the scripture prescribes about the day after meaning when when this nuclear war you know, breaks loose, which, as, you, as you're going to see in the articles, you're going to be able to make a judgment for yourself, man. We're in really, you know, beautiful times, but it's also hard times as well, because it's the time when you're going to get, your faith is going to get test, tested to the max. But that should be a beautiful thing, because you know the Lord's going to come back, and all your suffering is going to come to an end. All right? Don't feel like you can soldier it, man, because you're not going to be able to soldier it, lest the spirit of your how I, your house I be with you, because I know Jake be too proud sometimes to, Really accept the fate. Really accept is uh, I know for myself, starting from first first and foremost, man. You know, you get into a, a state of always being in hell. You think you can do everything by yourself, but this is the time when the Lord really is going to be able to say to do His thing. You're going, you're going, you're going to you're going to be saved by the by the hand of the Lord. But the Scripture says in um, in Revelations, uh, something to the effect of, uh, um, it can be you know the they're gonna be saved by the faith, or something, something to that effect. But essentially, you know, you're going, you, you, if you make it, you can make it by way of uh, the Lord making a path for you. Right? If you don't make it, then it was never meant for you. I just, all you have to do, same thing I do, is pray that you be part of the elect, man. Right? If you and if you want to set forth from the foundation, here's the beautiful thing about it. When you read Isaiah the 14th chapter on the first verse, okay, it says, um. All Israel is going to be saved, so you're going to be nice anyway. All right, see, a lot of dudes get offended that we say the two thirds ain't going to make it. Right, but you're talking about some piece of shit, you know, some, some, some doo doo stain, right, Israelites. Even they're going to, even, ultimately, even they're going to be kings upon this earth, man. even though they don't technically really deserve it, but they're, they're part of the lineage, so they're going to get theirs, man. All right, even they're going to get theirs. So when we cast them out on this side, man, 
there shouldn't be any need for complaining about that. They're gonna, they gonna, when they come back as newborn babies, they're gonna be all right any goddamn way. All right, now the scripture says they're gonna bear their shame. All right, but it, does that, does that mean the heathens gonna come up to them and laugh at them? No, man. You chop that heathen's head off. Are we gonna go up to them and laugh at them or anything like that? Maybe. All right, but it's gonna be in order because why? Because we're gonna have the law, statutes, commandments written upon our hearts. So. You know, if, if, if it's not expedient to do so, we, you know, you see, you know, you see it, you see it, but then see, they're going to have the Lord's such commandments in their mind. So they're going to be doing right. So you ain't going to be feel, feeling to be inclined to, you know, to be mocking them like that. But see, right now, this is the time we're supposed to be, supposed to be mocking them. And more so when the Most High brings his, his judgment upon them, like he says in uh, Proverbs, the first chapter on the 21st verse. Therefore, will I laugh at your calamity, mock when your terror cometh, man. All right. So that, hey, and what does he say also as a, as a priest to go with that, man? The servants of the Most High is going to eat. All right, so when it, when we're talking about the day after here, man, right, the Lord's going to deliver his men in that day, okay? Right, the, the servants of the Lord is going to eat. You see, the scorner, the scoffer, the fools, they ain't going to eat, man. Right, see, the sluggards, right, uh, uh, um, doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't work by reason of the code. And what does the scripture say, man? If you don't work, you don't eat, man. Both spiritually and physically, all right. So when that spiritual meal comes, which also manifests itself as a, as a, because uh, it's going to be a spiritual thing when when the Most High makes a way for you to eat, and there's no way in your mind that you're going to get some food, man. Right? That's going to be a spiritual thing. All right. See, so so the, so, so the slugger ain't going to eat in that day, man. All right? See, balloon and all of that that'll take at some time off through the winters and all of that, and and make and all of that. See, it's all good right now because things are seemingly to be going well. But see, Scripture says when they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? And that, you know, roughly paraphrasing, that's when the judgment's going to come. And right now, we're at the time where, you know, if, if you ain't, if you if you really ain't looking for the stuff, you know, that I hope I'm bringing to the table, all right? If you really ain't digging for it, man, it looks like everything's all right because your pseudo media and all of that ain't going to bring this information out, man. You really have to kind of, be in the spirit to kind of find it, man. All right, and it took you know months and months and months to where I, could, you know, I had a process, I had a system that I, I could depend upon, right? Where if I could just find this information with 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 relative kind of relative ease, man. And really, Russia today has been been uh been the main thing that I use, and that's readily available. But too many not too many people be watching Russia today, man. All right, you you switch on Russia today some uh, at certain times, man. They'll be cold cursing out the so-called white. Right? So it's a beautiful thing because that, cause that coincides with the, with the with scriptures and everything that we talk about. Man. So I always advocate that. But that, that doesn't mean to say the elites don't own it. That doesn't mean to say that because I don't know, man. That doesn't mean to say the elites ain't controlling that media. But you get a higher level of truth within Russia today. All right. So it says that uh, um, the conflicts began, right, with Russia troops. And so this is still depicting what happened in the film, okay. Right, it says, exchange devastated the lives of typical Americans in two uh, Midwestern cities. The conflict began with Russian troops build, uh, build up in Eastern Europe, which Moscow initially claimed to be a military exercise and gradually escalated to a point where both sides launched their nuclear weapons for fear of losing them in a preemptive attack. And that was, that's what you want to bear in mind because, you know, hopefully I've been building up a picture with the videos that I put up in the, you know, um, you know, up on, up on YouTube and that. Obviously, you're starting to see a picture of exactly what's happening out there in the Middle East. Namely, you've got troops all the way on down, um, um, the borders of Russia, right? You've already got that, right? And what are they doing? Military, they're doing military exercises, but you also got the Russian troops out there doing not only just business deal, they're doing military, military deals and military, uh, military exercises with the, with the Chinese and so on and so forth. So we're getting into that stage right now where the, where the pieces the main pieces are right in place. And what they're showing you here is although those training exercises are being conducted, what, what happens is when you have control over a people or a country and you want to be seemingly in charge, all right, you get the you get jittery fingers, all right? Hence the hence the term that they got out here and preemptive attack or fear of a preemptive attack. So you never know what you know, you, you never know the consequences of the, the, the information I'm gonna show you is gonna be, right? Because, uh, uh, um, like I said, man, they, these leaders gonna have dirty fingers, man. The Lord's gonna have it to where, right? All of the missiles is gonna be, uh, used. That's what the scripture says, so.
They're gonna be they they they're gonna be for fair for the preemptive attack. They just gonna go all out. It says it's coming coming as it did during a period of U.S. Soviet tensions and controversy surrounding the Reagan administration nuclear policies. The broadcast attracted a huge audience of over 100 million viewers, right? And it is still the highest rate it made for TV movie, right? In U.S. history, so the highest, and that's a beautiful thing, man. Right? Now I ain't watched the movie myself, right? But you know, it's it's probably gonna be a good film, all right? So I might have it to where you know I, I download it because it was made in 1983. I I probably, you know what? Let's find out, man. All right, let's find out. Okay, because we got the internet out here. Right, if we go to YouTube, right, let's find probably be able to find this movie. Alright. Alright, so there you go, man. So you can you can you can you can watch that movie, man. It's right there on YouTube. Okay? Now you know it ain't in HD or anything like that. Alright, but if you if you want to watch it in HD it looks like you can no, that's the day after tomorrow. But the day after, it looks like you can you can get that. Let's check out this copy. All right. Yeah, that's the same quality. You can kind of get that to to um, you can kind of get that uh to to four 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 eighty, man. Okay, so they're pretty much saying that was one of the best uh, uh um TV films that's ever been made. So you got it out there on YouTube. Check it out, man. I'll you know, Lord's will. I have the time. You know to watch that, and I might even end up doing a video just off of that, man. Because what the what the guy is saying here is pretty much on point, okay? Right, namely with the tensions and the controversies that they have out there and in, in, in up there in um between Russia and America, right? And ultimately that's going to lead to the world war, right? This is Americans haven't thought too much about such scenarios since the Cold War ended because the Soviet Union dissolved the ideology. The ideological rivalries between Washington and Moscow ceased. However, these years' crisis over Ukraine is a reminder that Russia remains a nuclear superpower and that the geopolitical uh, sources of its security concern have been have not vanished. Right, so Russia wants to maintain its security, man. And when you got when you got people on your borders, like it says here, man, they might opt for a preemptive attack. Okay, but you're gonna see how um how how that preemptive attack is even more so agitated. But these Belize um articles that I've I've got here, man, these are fresh, man. These these are you know these are brand spanking new. Okay, this this one came in on the eighth, man. All right, but you know I don't want to spoil the surprise and all that. You know, you brothers, have your brothers drinking way before the videos, well, way too soon before the video even finished, you know. Right in 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 a, in a response to the to the good news, but nevertheless, it says Americans haven't thought too much about such scenarios since Cold War ended. So because the Soviet Union dissolved ideological rivalries between Washington and Moscow, however, this year crisis over Ukraine is a remind as a reminder that the Russia Russia remains a superpower, a nuclear superpower, that the geopolitic geopolit and that the geopolitical sources of his security concerns have vanished. In fact, Moscow may have greater reason for worrying today because it has lost the buffer of his allies. So, right, you know, so the Soviet Union was a you know was a force to be reckoned with back in the day because it would have had all the allies and and them allies would have had all of their infrastructure in terms of military built up, unlike today where. You know they might not have you know they might not have that that uh, that military structure built up because they're relying on America or they're selling them oil or something whatever. All right, I don't know you know I don't know the ins and outs of the old Soviet Union. Okay, it says and now finds its capital on, capital only a few minutes right from the eastern border of Ukraine by jet um, by jet less by a missile. Right, so if if you know history of the region. Then it is easy to see why uh, Moscow might fear aggression. Okay, all right. So I'm not going to read this bit because um, you can read that for yourself, all right? But the point I wanted to get out of this one, this particular article, which was a good article, we got we got a movie out of it as well, a good movie at that, all right? So let me see this. Let me see this one. This is 1983. 
yeah so that's that's still the same that's you know that's that's still um still the same quality but so I could get a decent a better quality for you brothers anyway right so this is the news that came out today man all right it says re reports of US plans to put missiles in Europe right don't build trust for the Kremlin it says reports of US plans to deploy missiles in Europe hardly promote the balance of interest of, con uh, of uh, continent and mutual trust this is President Vladimir uh, Putin uh, uh, spokesman Dmitry uh, Peskov says so so uh, uh, the guy speaking for Putin man but right, he's letting you know that the, the America they ain't just put in like ballistic missiles out there or anything like that see like, that's what that's the message I've been trying to put you, you when you use nuclear weapons man right you use nuclear weapons for all out clean assault man right you don't really hear about and, and I'm pretty sure there hasn't been a nuclear conflict. Let me see if there's been any nuclear conflicts, man. Nuclear conflicts today. Alright, nuclear conflicts. To date. So, I'm trying to spell it to one, one way to one. Right. See, it doesn't look like man. It doesn't really look like there's there's been an, any kind of nuclear conflict or any scenario where a, a country or a nation has gone up with nuclear nuclear war, man. Nu nuclear weapons, man. Right now, I know they used the the hydrogen bomb and that. Uh, but you know the the ones they got today, man, they they're a lot different. They're more they're more powerful and cause a lot more destruction. But anyways, I wanted to support a point I was making, right? That the you know when you when you put nukes, right, and you and they're directed at, at Russia, man, that's gonna that's gonna lead to a, 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 a some devastating um some devastating things, man. Okay, so certain actions aimed at escalating tensions, of course. Will not be anyone's interest, right? For sure, uh, this issue itself hardly promotes um, mutual trust and balance and interest between European it, on the European continent, all right? And um, that's all I'm going to read from that because that's that's all that needs to be get get gone from that man, all right? It says UK has uh, oh no, see it says uh, read more UK could host right uh, counter nukes to counter increased. Russia activity. We don't really hear nothing about increased Russia activity, man. Because that's 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 all falsified, man. Right? That's all made up. Okay, it says UK Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond right, has said in an interview that placing nuclear weapon nuclear warheads on British territory is not ruled out. So they would even put it on, on, on English soil, right? So that it's closer to, from America, right, right, from Britain. Uh, coming from Britain to Russia, man, right? Uh, nuclear warheads on, on on British territory is not ruled out, but it would have to be a very delicate act, right? So they're considering, you know, uh, military strategies like that, all right? So there have been some worrying signs of stepping up levels of activity, both of Russian forces and by Russian-controlled separatist forces in Ukraine. Man. So again, man, that's all I need to say out of that, man. You get. You get the full empty of that, you know. Really, I know I told you it was going to be a little bit of a long one, right? And then this is the last article. It says U.S. considers deploying missiles in in Europe after Russia allegedly violates Cold War era nuclear tre treaty. Right, so that's what they're saying. It says Washington, Obama administration is weighing a range of aggressive responses. So it's not just the nuclear weapons that they're going to do, man. It's multiple responses, man. Okay. Right, responses to um, Russia's alleged violation of the cold, alleged violation of the cold, uh, a cold war era nuclear treaty includes, right, including deploying land-based missiles in Europe and preemptively, right, destroy Russian weapons. Right, it says this counterforce option, right, among possibilities the administration is considering as it reviews its entire policy towards Russia in light. Of Moscow's military intervention in Ukraine, 
is an its annexation of Crimea and, uh, and actions right the uh, US deems confrontational in Europe and beyond right but man you know if you go into the history of all of that man you find out man all of, a lot of that is just it's hearsay man that, that the Americans are saying really Russia ain't really did nothing like that man right it says and the options go so go so far as one implied but not stated explicitly that would improve the ability for US nuclear weapons to destroy military targets right on Russian territory it's all right it all has a certain cold war ring right even in the White House ultimately decides right to continue tolerating the alleged flight testing of ground and they're saying they're saying the Russians are testing their missiles what are the Americans gonna do they're gonna put nukes and nuclear warheads on, on British soil right so then so then man can't do their testing just just the testing man right ground launch uh, cruise missiles the range are uh, prohibited by the treaty right and those are this is just some cruise missiles what are they gonna put they're gonna put some nuclear warheads in there so man it's escalating intentions and this um this was posted up june 5th so three days ago man right 2015 all new brand spiking new news all right hopefully you know that was of um some use all right you know i didn't really put so much entertainment uh, you know entertainment into that one so you know hopefully you know you got you got something out of you get you get bored out of your head but you got you got a film that you could watch there i won't watch that i'm probably going to do a video on that and um you got pure articles you can read there on russia today national post on forbes and all of that man all right so you know with that i'm gonna say double honesty apostles of gms honestly brothers i'll be pushing this truth in sincerity man you can see this thing is it's built man it's not even we're not even on the stage of building up we're putting you know we're you know, you 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 paint the you know the picture. You're putting the final touches to it, now, man. The mood, you know, the script is is set in play. Now you you know you got the cast, right? The cast is in play, right? You got the uh, uh you got the scenery, right? The scenery is in place, man. All right, you know you just you know we're just getting waiting for the directors to say go, man. That's it, man. The director being your your man. Okay, all right. Say shalom.